welcome back to my channel and thank you guys so much for stopping by with me today thank you so much for your continued support i really really appreciate it um in this video i'm going to show you guys how i achieved these kind of very simple summer carefree protective style some short box braids i'm going to show you guys how i achieved these short box braids with it which is such an easy cute queen and all of that kind of look i really really love these i had it i had this hairstyle in now for like a week and a half and i really love it it's very low maintenance it's cute it's summer friendly because it's a really hot here in new york city and a lot of times i could just pull it up and get everything off me and it's so light and you know i literally just tie my hair and go to sleep wake up and be out so I really, really love that about this hairstyle. Now let me get into some specs about this hairstyle. It did take me like three and a half hours to complete the entire thing. And that is because I was doing these triangular braids in my, these triangular sections in my hair. That was the part that took the longest because doing triangular sections on yourself can be tedious. So yeah, that took the longest for me. Installing the braids was like pretty easy. Now, what I want to explain to you guys is that this is, I use the expression braid in here in the color 1B, and I want to say it's like a pack and a half. Okay, I have a total of 34 braids in my hair. Um, 24 came from one pack of expression braid. I cut that, cut that ear into four quarters, and from each quarter, I took six sections. So I got 24 braids out of the um, entire pack, right? Now, I have 34 braids, so the next 10, which is right here in the top part of my hair, right here, is when I cut the pack of hair in one, in three thirds. So instead of four quarters, I cut, in, I cut it in three thirds, so this section, the top could be longer like your hair naturally would. Okay, so when I let it down, it kind of fall a little bit more, it's not very even, but a little bit more even, okay? Colored pieces that you're seeing are just left over here that I had, and I just, you know, them in i hope you guys enjoy this video um i really love this hairstyle as i said i'm planning on keeping it in for three weeks hopefully i'll have a styling video i'm gonna try to work on a styling video so you guys could see how i easily styled this hair while i had it in and yeah um that's pretty much what i gotta say make sure you guys are following me on all my social media platforms make sure you thumbs up leave me a comment let me know you like this hairstyle um subscribe all of that good stuff turn on notification posts you know so all of that fancy stuff that you know you need to do to support your girl all right and yeah make sure you guys are following me on my social media i'll be posting a lot of photos when i'm wearing this hairstyle and even on my insta story so yes um let me stop all this talking thank you guys again so much and let's just step into this video Yes, that was a long intro, but we made it through, right? We're here? Yes. Okay. So, I'm just going to show you guys how I sectioned the front part because the back part was a little bit hard to record while doing it. Well, I did record it, but most of the time my head was out of focus and things like that. So, I basically make triangular sections by just snorting the comb and aligning it with the other sections that I previously made to create that star effect. Now, for the back part, when I'm doing it, my fingers... Are my guidance I just put my fingers in that little area right there so I know where to direct the comb from to create the triangular section so that it gives me this star effect that we are about to create on this side once again okay hope that's making sense but yeah it's not hard it's just it just takes a little bit more time than a regular um, rectangular section would so if you are not you know willing to spend the time and do this do the regular rectangular sections it works just fine but I was I wanted some triangular sections so I went for it so after sectioning the after putting the section in a rubber band I'm gonna go ahead and two strong twist it all the way down and then we're gonna install our braids And this is what the sections are looking like. It's actually cute by itself. You know, I could kind of rock this if I was a little bit younger. Okay. But yeah, that's what it's looking like. It's not perfect, but it's perfect enough. 
bearing in mind that I did it myself it works out just fine and now I'm gonna go into section in the expression braid that we're gonna use so first I'm gonna cut this here in half and then I'm gonna cut one each half in two pieces so we created four quarters So then I took half of each quarter and separated in three pieces. So from each quarter I got six sections. So from half pack it's 12 pieces and then from the entire pack I got 24 braids. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is put everything up in a ponytail and then work with one twist at a time. So you keep it separated especially when you're working with like the back and areas where you can't see very well. So what I'm going to do is take one third off that section and put it over the other two third and that's how I create my box braids um, a, there's a lot of different methods but this is the method that I use and then I keep all three sections separated and then just go straight to my twist and start installing this braid okay when I get to the front you guys will see a little bit close a little bit clearer doing styles like this on yourself it's gonna take a little bit more judgment and sense of feel like using your hands to feel what you're doing because you're not able to see well you could sit between two mirrors and that might be a lot easier for you but as for me recording that would not be possible so once I get to the end or once I get to where I the length of the braid that I want I'm going to take a rubber band and just secure the end so that it doesn't unravel okay and that's what I did for all the sections and now we're going to move into a little bit of spice. I'm going to add a few pieces of color to this. This is just me. And this is where I start to use like the one third pack length of here. So that this top section right here would be a little bit longer so that it falls a little bit better. I do not remember the color number for this here. I want to say it's like... Uh, I'm not even going to guess because I really don't remember this color here and I don't buy it that often to really remember what color it is. So yes, I measure it up with the next one to see where it stops and then just use the rubber band to secure the end just the same. Now I'm also going to take a few of these brown blonde pieces. I think this is number 30 here. Yes, this is definitely number 30 here. And I'm just going to install like two pieces of that brownish burgundy color two braids of that brownish burgundy color one on each side and then I'm also gonna put in two braids of number 30 Now this is the area where you guys will be able to see a little bit closer where I took one third off the section of here, put it over the other two third and then just start the box braid. So I put one section with the twist and then I use the other section to just wrap around that area and start the box braid process. I'm like wrap around that area well. You guys understand what I'm trying to say. Uh, it's a literally as easy as you're seeing it. It's a really not hard. One thing you got to focus on is holding the extension um, really tight and close to the section to your natural hair section so that it will be attached as close as possible but not tight. As you can see that area is moving. I purposely didn't make them too tight because we want this to be a protective style and not a style that will damage our hair okay so after doing that I'm just gonna do the same thing braid it all the way down to the end measure it up with another one close to it and then just put the rubber band in at the desired length after completing all my box braids I'm gonna take one side at each time and dip it in hot water and yeah just to seal the ends and just um smooth out the ends of these a little bit more 
so that they will look a little bit more defined and this will also help to straighten some of the braids if you happen to braid them straight enough the hot water will help to straighten it so I went ahead and I started to cut off the ends but I would suggest putting this in a ponytail before you start doing that I'm gonna do that but that's after I already cut off a few so yes let's put in a ponytail like this and then I'm gonna take out one piece at a time and just cut off the ends just straight across no specific like angled way just cut it straight across because we are going for blunt ends okay so yes if they look blunt that's the look that i am going for so yeah So I'm also going to add these little gold accessories to the hairstyle. So what I did, I, add, I added most of them towards the end of where the rubber band is. Just to kind of cover the rubber band a little bit. But um, that's where I like them the most. I also applied a few like on the braids itself and things like that. I didn't apply the gold things on all the ends but yeah. So what I'm doing here is applying beads onto the two corner ones right in front of your ears right there. Just to give you that little, you know, that style when you want to drop the two down to the side and things like that. So I applied three board beads onto those and then I applied a gold thing at the end. Okay, one of the gold accessories, I said a gold thing. I mean one of the gold accessories I applied to the end after I applied the three beads. Okay, they're gonna take a little bit of um, strength to push them on, but they can go on. Okay, so if it's a little bit tight when you're pushing it on, it is achievable. So I'm also gonna take this gold um, stretchy string that you see a lot of people wrap around their braids, and it's so cute. And I'm literally just gonna make crisscross sections and just wrap this around my braid all the way to the end. Well, until to the length of this string, because I think this one is actually a little bit shorter than my braid, but that's totally fine. So I'm going to wrap it until I almost can't wrap it anymore. And then I'm going to knot it. So that's simply what I'm doing, just making crisscross sections and just wrapping it around this braid going all the way down. It is as simple as it looks. So as I get towards the end of the string, um, you want to make sure you leave enough so that you can make two knots easily. And then I'm just going to cut away the excess pieces and that is it. So this is the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. By the way, if you want to see this makeup tutorial, it will be uploaded right after this video. Um, I did my edges and stuff. This is the next day. This is such a cute hairstyle. I really love it. It's such a low maintenance, lightweight, effortless hairstyle. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know down below. Don't forget to thumbs up, subscribe, all that good stuff. And yeah, thank you guys again so much. And I'll see you in my next one. Bye, guys.